hi everyone i am chiwendo and you're welcome back to eco designs to fit tutorial in this one you're going to be learning how to fix in an eyelet into the back of your corset or back of your booster blouse so i have my revert machine here i have my eyelets different sizes i have my pencil and i have my measuring tape i also have my soldering iron so please you want to make sure that you are placing your soldering iron on top of a metallic object okay as you can see i made use of this um metallic packer to do that okay so here is the back of my busty blouse where i'm going to be fixing in my eyelets I'm going to be making use of this pencil in form of my chalk. I love to work with pencil because they have this um, pointy sharp area, okay, instead of chalks. So first of all, I went ahead to mark down to one inch. And after the first one inch, I started marking one for eight, okay, that is one and a half inches. I hope you guys understand. So I'm going to keep doing this until I get to the damp part of my blouse now after this i'm going to also mark out the same thing on this part which i've done off camera okay so what you want to do is first of all mark out one inch from the upper part and after this one inch go ahead and start marking out one 0.5 inches until you get to the damp part so i have different sizes of eyelets right here so we have different sizes of eyelets in the market this is being sold for about 200 naira per dozen okay and this is it i have different sizes i have the smallest one and the medium size and then the one i'm about to use is size 24 okay which is the one we normally use on the back of our corset okay so guys um now this is it i'm just going to try bring it closer to the camera so you guys can see and this is the smallest one and the medium size okay now this is my revert machine and these are the dies this dies comes in pair okay so one is going to be fixed down there okay so i'm going to be fixing it now so you guys can see now i'm going to fix this one right at the down and the other one i'm going to screw it right at the upper part you can see me doing that and once you are done screwing make sure that the one at the upper part is able to touch the one at the down part okay now once i'm done with that i'm going to bring in the back of my blouse and yeah following the marks that i've made there i've heated up my soldering iron make sure that this is very hot and you have to be very careful with it if not it is going to damage your garments you can see how the smoke is coming out should i call that a smoke i don't know yeah whatever it is so you can see the way it's coming out so first of all i went ahead to open up the first hole and yeah i'm trying to input the eyelet now this eyelet comes in pair okay so the we have the main eyelet and the cover i don't know how to describe that but if you're buying it from the market they're going to give you two things okay one is the one that is the main eyelet and the other one you're going to have to place it just like you can see me doing like this and then you have to pull and heat can you see what i'm doing so make sure that you heat this very well so that it will be able to stay strong on your fabric and then if you are opening up this hole make sure you open just a tiny hole you guys okay with your soldering iron and like i said you have to be very very careful with this if not if you open up the hole too much it is going to be that big okay the hole is going to be very wide so make it very tiny make it very narrow and make sure that once you are done opening this up you go ahead and input your eyelet immediately if not it is going to close up you know what happens when you are burning your fabric okay it's going to seal up okay so please make sure you don't open up these holes and after that you go ahead and start inputting your eyelet make sure you are doing it one step at a time you can see what i am doing once i open up the hole i will go ahead and input the eyelet and then after doing that i will do the next one okay so you can see what i am doing so this is what i'm going to continue until i get to the damp parts so now you can see this is the fourth one 
so what i notice is once this is very hot just go ahead and open it up and input your eyelet immediately so with that being very hot it is going to just pave way for the eyelet to go in and then you bring the cover and then cover it and you heat you can see what i am doing right there so now this is the fifth one i'm also going to open it up and then input my eyelets now once i input it i love to turn it to the back side to input the cover and then i will hit you can see what i am doing okay so i'm almost um rounding up so this is the final one i'll go ahead and open it after opening it up i will input the eyelets and then place it on the nozzle and then cover it up with the cover and i will pull okay so once you pull make sure that you heat it so that it will stay strong now that i'm done with this i'm going to repeat the same thing to the other side remember we have um two parts okay so here is the first one of the second one and now i'm almost at the last part of it okay you can see that this is actually so simple and once you are done with that go ahead and unplug your soldering iron and remove it aside you don't want to bring this closer to your fabric because it might destroy it okay so guys this is how to fix in your eyelets into the back of your corset or your bustier blouse or anywhere you want to fix this it is actually very simple and i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i will see you guys in my next one bye